All right, I'm gonna do a video on a weird um, trigger uh, mode in the uh, Raggle scope here, and it might help you out someday. So here's a square wave. Okay, so that's that's easy to that's easy to trigger on. Uh, we can just uh, do regular triggering. This is auto mode. Oops. Uh, let's see. Oops. Let's run it here. Auto mode. Go to normal mode. So normal mode. There's a little uh, marker here that says where you're triggering. You can move that up and down. And if you go go up off the top, it stops. It should stop doing stuff. Normal. I don't know why it's not. Go up the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Go up the bottom. We're not triggering any longer. And we come up and then we start triggering again. So that's normal mode. And then single, mo oops. single mode is just single shot. And you can do a uh, refresh by hitting the, uh, the single button. So everybody knows those, those modes. Um, let's take a look at a, diff a different single. Triangle wave. All right. Now what if I, what if I mix those two signals together? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them into a resistive adder. And I'm going to add those two signals together. I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get something that looks like that, okay? And I want a trigger on that. So you can see that it's not it's going all wacky. It, it's hard it's hard to trigger on this thing, right? It's wiggling back and forth, and back and forth. So uh, so here's the solution I came up with. So when you go into triggering, uh, there is a uh, menu item down here. And it says, what type of triggering do you want? You click on that, you get a whole bunch of things. You can trigger on video, or uh, you can trigger on uh, line, you can trigger on all kinds of things in here, right? And uh, you can trigger on our I squared C and stuff, all sorts of things. So we normally we just have it set to edge and we don't ever think about it. Uh, pulse, you can have it uh, catch pulses, but in this particular case, um, I'm gonna use what's called slope, okay? All right, so how do we trigger on, on this signal? So uh, instead of edge, we're going to use slope. And what slope's going to let us do is we can choose which source. So we're going to trigger on channel one. And then, oops, trigger on channel one. And then we get to choose some conditions here. Now the uh, first condition is rising edge, the second condition is rising edge, and the third condition is rising edge. The next three conditions are falling edges. So we're gonna trigger on a falling edge, uh, on a falling edge of this slope here. And you can have it set so that you look at the slope and you say, is the slope greater than a certain amount or less than a certain amount? So we want a slow slope. We don't want this quick little edge, we want a slow slope. So we're gonna hit, uh, Falling edge greater than, which is which is this one here. So we've selected that one, falling edge greater than. And then I've set one millisecond. So uh, we're at five milliseconds per division right now. Here's two milliseconds per division. So we're going to say the, the slope has to be greater than one millisecond for it to trigger. And we're going to be triggering between two time points. And those are these two markers here. So we can set one of the markers on the bottom and you can see that we've stopped triggering now because we don't have enough slope. So if we lower it down, now we have enough between the two that it gets greater than, than one, one millisecond. So we're setting these two markers by using the trigger button. If you click it, you move the, uh, we're moving them both together. Click it, uh, click it. Now you're moving the top one, click it. And now you're moving the bottom one. So that's the way those work, right? So now we, we've triggered on the uh, slow part. We can do single sweeps. So we can kind of see what's going on here with these single sweeps, All right? And uh, let's say that we want to trigger on the quick edge, the, the, the square wave edge instead. Now we want a quick pulse. So now we can go here and we can say, instead of it being greater than, we want it less than. And so here it's less than. And now, uh, let's see, we need to set the uh, trigger points as well. They're too far apart right now. And we will set them close together. And now we're actually triggering on that, on that little edge there. If we, 
we do single single shots you see that we're always triggering on the uh, on that quick on that quick event right and we're triggering on it in the negative direction right if we wanted to trigger on it in the in the positive direction we would go here and now we're triggering on it in the positive direction but we're triggering on the rising edge that has a slope less than in this case four microseconds it kind of defaulted to that number we could we could make this one make this thing let's say less less than uh, five microseconds or something doesn't really matter what it is and uh, there we go Oh, maybe it does matter. We should make it really. We should make it really quick then. I guess it was smarter than me. Um, yeah, it's triggering. It's triggering better here. There you go. So it's probably a, a trigger mode that you haven't uh, haven't seen before. Uh, it's uh, it's slope. And uh, yeah, it comes in uh, handy in a rare case.